2023. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us on Fresh Fire Chat, where we take some of the greatest nuggets out of Fresh Passion, get a brand of Dodge Generic, and bring them to you in a very quick way, in a very simple way, because we know everybody's in a hurry. Today, I want to talk about getting out of debt, steps to take to get a debt-free life. It doesn't make much sense to have this great brand, to have this great success in life when you're stressed out with debt and debt is eating away at your economic success. So I want to talk a little bit about how you get that stress out of the way. How do you begin to maximize your earnings because you don't have that debt there and you can really move yourself forward. So in order to remain adequately focused on the things that matter most in this life, you need to eliminate as many distractions and stress points as possible. And debt is one of the things that stress people out. It causes people to leave jobs because they need to make more, into, more money. It's, it might not be the job they want, but they need to get out of debt. They need to make just money to pay bills. And that's not a successful life if you're just going through life just to pay, just to stay in debt, never really getting overflow. That's going to help you be successful to invest in yourself, invest in your family, to leave a legacy behind. So many of us find our, our found ourselves at some point overextended or desperately trying to fill the void in our lives, and we spend. So all of this adds, adds, added stress uh, pulls us away from truly what's making us successful and really helping us focus. So let's quickly go into what we need to, what I think is, is a good way to start is first focus on controlling the spending that leads you to debt. So create a budget based on your income, your expenses, and your saving. And if you want something, a new outfit, a new vacation, a, a new car, begin to save for it so that you can begin to not continuously build yourself into debt. Make sure you have a safety net. Make you know it's, it's recommended that you have at least a year of your salary. So if anything in the unfortunate event shall happen, that you're not stressed out about really taking the next thing that comes along because you're desperate now. And if you're using shopping as a means to make yourself feel better, that therapy is is a poor excuse. You you this uh, oftentimes we have an underlying issue that we need to deal with if we need to buy something to make ourselves feel good and we need to spend excessively to make ourselves feel good it's time to have an honest conversation with yourself to say what's leading me to feel so lonely that I have to spend myself into debt that's not a good place to be and, and sometimes you just need professional help uh, if you just have to spend just to make yourself feel better retail therapy is a made-up word that I think Nordstrom's came up with I'm just kidding about Nordstrom somebody came up with it to keep you spending more so and get rid of the existing debt by really uh, doing one thing first stop spending immediately if you don't have the cash to pay for it begin to use some therapy to really pull yourself from it and don't let a retailer or a sale begin to control your life look look at your budget that you created earlier and begin to think of a debt repayment plan to really begin to eradicate that debt you'll begin to see the stress come off of you because you're not being controlled by this debt calculate how long it's going to take you and make that a goal that you want to achieve something that you can celebrate and seek professional help if you feel overwhelmed because again you don't want your brand to be tainted and to be derailed by this stress that's in your life and that's about debt and so many people are going through it they're making these haphazard decisions decisions because they need to get out of debt so once you pay off that debt and get yourself in a position that you're controlling the story now celebrate that so this is about again getting personal success professional success and economic success and controlling your debt is the part the first step to get an economic success so thank you for tuning in as we talk about how to get that stressful debt out of your life so that you can really begin to focus on growing your band your brain and having maximized personal, professional, and economic success. Again, thank you for tuning in. Keep the fire burning, ignite your passion, and connect it to your brand, and watch a level of success that you've never experienced before come to life. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great rest of the day.